Um, okay. Oh, yeah, because this is... So let's move this here and add roof to it. And for this we can take most of these use the yeah, most of these use slate, so let's take slate roof. I think, yeah. Too wide, two by two. And then we need some kind of front and back for this, but just the framework. And let's have a look in our trice wood. And let's go here, and we need the too wide. And it's three. And over here. And duplicate that for the other side. Hello, how are you? And now our shrine has a roof. And now we need something to actually hold the shrine. And let's take these. Let's move this up here. And I oh know we can keep it in here, but just remove the cube from it. Well, let's leave the cube there for the moment. And have a look. Oh, I'm in the complete wrong spot. So, let's... Specific canvas text via code. Um, can can't you set it up um, on your um, on your own? Let me show what I have in my in here. So on my canvas, I have. 
the have a description panel. So if I go to 2D and zoom out of it, I have a description panel here. That's if I activate that, it looks like this. And on here I have a text. That's my text. And it's called, uh, yeah, it's just called text here. But I have my UI manager that's um, um, why is this just called text? It's strange. Um, but in my UI manager I have the um, oh no, it's item description. In here somewhere I should have my text connected. Um, oh, down here. Dope. Um, I have my panel connected, which is um, this parent object here, and then the text connected. And they are my canvas is in this setup um, child of my UI manager, which is just transform with a script on it. And in my UI manager, um, when I'm showing the description panel, I'm checking if the text that's string. I'm just checking if it's empty or not. And then I'm setting the description panel active. And on the description text, it has a text component. That's um, the, the string that's displayed there. And there I just set my text to. Um, you can find it with um, game object find with tag that could work but um, is your UI so dynamic so um, script heavy that um, you need you can connect it in in the editor or do you have some kind of bug there? Um, might be that you need to have the um, the canvas as a child of your um, script where you want to change the text. That would be easier than should have all the connections it needs and should work fine. At least that's what I'm doing here. And I'm not I don't know how your system is um, set up, so I can't help you there. Do you have a, a script that you can show me, or paste bin or stuff, stuff like that? Better name, so it 
knows that I can find it easier in my UI manager. Yeah, now it's it's easier to find. Oh, sorry about that. Um, let me check. It's not this, so let's change this here. Um, for me, it works to connect them on the script, but my setup is that the canvas is child of the object I'm having my script on. So if you have a different um, the thing is if you set up the text uh, the the tag correctly then it should should work so if you need you can set up a tag for your um, for your script uh, for your object then search for that tag the tag is unique enough then should be fine. Should be able to find it then. Um, but the thing is, find with tag gives you a game object back. And you need to um, find the... need to go to the right component then. So for this you need to um, get component text and then set the text for that. So to make make sure that you f get the right component on the right object. But in theory it should work that way. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe the the um, um I would use it this way. So if I have my game object, I want to find. Then I would um, search for it. Game object dot find game object with tag, and here have my text object, and then. It should find the object with the tag. And the next thing you need to do is um, for the game object it was found um, get component and then the component text. And then the text there is the the string you need and then you can change it to whatever string you want there this should work if you set up the the game object correctly with the right tag then this should work But if you want to have um, more permanent um, connection to the text game object, then um, I would make, an, make a variable here and maybe make it private and then in, in your um, start you call this get the, ob the object and then in the, in the space in the, 
where you want to change the text then you can call this line but it should um, should be able to connect them like this What does not work? Um, can you put your source code in pastebin and put the link in chat so I can have a look at it? Otherwise I'm, I can't help you much because I don't know what you're typing, what your code is and what it might be doing wrong.
these Let's have a look at this one. Oh, damn it. Forgot about the player. Um, let's move the player to the village. Um, copy component. And paste. So I need some statues of some kind. And okay. Good to know. But the rest looks fine for the moment. Okay, um, yeah, I will be back tomorrow, because now I'm going and, yeah, I might even be going to bed soon, so, because it's late for me, and, but I'm back tomorrow at, um, 10 a.m. CET for those 
Americans out there are at 10 CT or GMT plus 1 and then we will pick up from here somewhere I don't know not sure what I will do but I will um, write it in the I might might um, continue working on the brewery interior because I need to add a bit of stuff in there so I might work on that so the title might change slightly but it's most likely be the will most likely be the interior over there again so and um, if anything changes then I will tweet it out so yeah okay bye bye and see you all tomorrow